We start, though, with the G20 summit, which wrapped up in Hamburg over the weekend. It was the debut for uh, President Moon Jae-in on the international stage. With a packed schedule, his diplomacy skills were put to the test, especially coming so soon after North Korea fired what is believed to have been a long-range missile or even an ICBM. Uh, Moon Gon Yong starts us off. Through thousands strong protests and sharper than ever disagreements by the world leaders to a missile launch by North Korea, the most advanced missile to date, the two-day summit of the world's 20 major economic powers have finally come to a close with the adoption of a joint communique. From the get-go, North Korea's nuclear and missile program was bound to surge the front in the German port city of Hamburg this year. Starting with a joint statement by South Korea, U.S. and Japan on the eve of the official opening. The three leaders are committed to applying maximum pressure on Pyongyang so it changes its ways and refrains from provocative and threatening actions. They will also take the steps necessary to hold serious talks with the North for the regime's denuclearization. And all throughout the two-day-long summit, which, although short of making it into the final communique or the leader's declaration, led the host of this year's summit to make an oral statement. On North Korea, I want to say that everyone talking about it expressed their great concern that this development is very threatening, and everyone pointed out the relevance of the UN Security Council. We hope that the UN Security Council will find an adequate answer to this new violation of the resolution. And there was broad agreement on this here. At the same time, President Moon also called for international assistance for the North Korean people, emphasizing humanitarian aid in the health and medical sectors must not be linked to political conditions. And that's not all. Even on issues like trade and climate change, where major countries remain starkly divided, the president expressed our strong opposition to trade protectionism and support for the Paris Agreement on climate change. He called for policy cooperation by all countries, thereby restoring our status as a responsible nation in the global arena. The South Korean president also introduced the new administration's economic policy of people-centered investment, fair economy and innovative growth as ways to tackle low growth, high unemployment and economic polarization, problems shared by countries all across the globe. All that in four G20-wide working sessions and 13 bilateral and trilateral meetings on the sidelines of the two-day-long global leaders meeting. South Korean President Moon Jae-in's debut on the international stage has also come to an end without many hiccups. So achievements, yes, but he also flies back home with a longer and more complicated to-do list than ever. From the G20 summit in Hamburg, Moon Gonyo, Arirang News.